Amir. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. How about you? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, first of all, uh, very congratulations to you for being selected in English. Thank you very. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, guys, uh, I am Akshay Patan from Team Let's Learn, and he is Amir. Mir Ali, uh, he has got his selection into Hamilton. Recently, he had an interview which he got cleared. So today, we are going to uh, take a session and uh, uh, take his experience on uh, how it was. So shall we begin, Mir? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so firstly, uh, I want to ask you, uh, how did you prepare for returns? Return uh, for Anglo, I go yeah. with exam weather. mostly and if some question is was uh, it was not there so i go with india bix but if uh, india bix first uh, sorry exam weather first okay. so i covered technical english and aptitude so all the mcq from exam weather yeah okay so uh, how long did it take to you uh, to prepare for returns from exam weather it's depend on person to person yeah uh, no like, i am asking uh, you for me actually in btech i was not good as everyone uh, we basically uh, uh, depend on guide book we do not uh, read books so during semester we only read guide books and some selected question and write there but for anglo we need to work more so as i know i it take one year for me uh, first attempt i did uh, in 2021 when i was in last semester i was uh, uh, i was able to clear the written but not interview again i try so for uh, i would say there are lots of question in exam with the section wise mostly 100 in one section so it will take you 3 to 4 month if you cover technical and english and uh, all the maths questions and it's always depend on person to person also yeah right right so i was asking this because uh, aspirants wants to know how did you prepare for uh, for written side note so many aspirants are having exams in the month of november right now So still they are confused, like how to exactly prepare for the exams. An so exam, with, yeah, an exam with that is only for Anglo, uh, because if you give the exam of Anglo, you will see the exact same questions, even same options from exam Veda. But if you go with uh, other sponsor, so it's not work. You have to work on basic. Uh, Anglo ask some tough questions uh, compared to the other, uh, as compared to. Uh, samundra and get stunned they only ask basics questions if your basics is good so you you will able to uh, give uh, able to clear the written exam yeah. so uh, this is how you prepared for your written right yeah yeah okay. so just a second uh, so uh, shall we uh, begin with uh, with your written experience now yes uh so mir uh, tell me about yourself from uh, my name is mir mohsam ali i belongs to patna it's a capital of bihar and about my qualification uh, i did uh, matriculation in 2015 and after that i did diploma in mechanical engineering and then i did btech and uh, passed in 2021 and uh, uh, about my hobbies Uh, like playing cricket chess etc and uh, uh after completed my btech i did uh, work anywhere i just used to give home tuition mostly physics and maths so science and maths to the to student uh, under 1 to 10 so that help you a lot so the same question uh, asked in interview also i give the same answer okay so mir uh, you mentioned that uh, you play chess right yeah, yeah. Uh, so have you ever uh, participated in chess competitions 
No, not on that level. Yeah. Just yeah, you like to play chess. Yeah, I like to play chess. Uh, so can you tell me something about your family background? My father is a businessman, and my mother is a school teacher, and I have a elder sister uh, who is working as a teacher also, like government, and a younger brother who is uh, com uh, completing his final year. Uh, in Ar B Tech Ar uh, Architecture in National Institute of Patna, NIT Patna. So there are five all. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so next question is, uh, Mir, uh, you are from Patna, right? Yeah. So there is a ban on liquor in Patna, right? Yes. Uh, what are your views on this? My views is uh, a ban is good. But at the same time, government should have to do along with uh, different things. For example, if I talk about before van conditions, there are uh, labor people who in, uh, invest all the money, who, who spend all the money to buy liquor. And as you know, liquor is so costly. So to think that government uh, thinking uh, think to ban liquor, but uh, there are some people who is uh, still making liquor, but not that quality. Because of this, many people have died continuously because of uh, bad quality of liquor. Yeah. So, and the, and they earn money, and the money he should be goes to the government to for betterment our future. This money is going to the to that people who is scamming. So you can take the example of COVID time, uh, where the all the state government have uh, lost, uh, have no money, so they open the liquor shops because of this they can have a level of some money. But uh, in Bihar, the the Bihar government is not able to open because he also he had banned liquor. So if the government do not have money as you know that the alcohol have more tax so the more revenue uh, to government so if the money is not to the government they will not able to build infrastructure and the roads so so this should be government have to think yeah. right. okay so my next question is uh, uh, have you done any kind of uh, repair works or something in your home since childhood, I used to like uh, to repair my bicycle. Okay. Uh, and uh, and one thing I did is uh, I change three to four time I change myself gland packing of centrifugal pump. Okay. So it's very easy uh, to change. So I did, and apart from this, uh, this uh, I iron. You know, the iron you can. Just like the tube lights and the fan, some kinds of repairing, not too much. Uh, for curiosity, since childhood I have curiosity, uh, curiosity with, uh, with machines, so I like to do. Sometimes it does not work. Sometimes work. Sometimes I damage also. Yeah, obviously everybody does. Okay. So shall we move to the technical part now? Yeah. yeah. So Mir, uh, can you tell me what is Bernoulli's principle? Bernoulli's principle is said that uh, when a when a body uh, fully or no for uh, Bernoulli's principle is said that uh, for an incompressible liquid flowing in a continuous stream, their particle will move from one place to another, but the total energy remains same. Yeah. Right. Okay. So can you tell me what is the Archimedes principle? Archimedes principle is said that uh, when a body fully or partially immerses in a liquid, uh, it lifted up by a force. That force will be equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the body. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Mir, uh, tell me one thing. Uh, why do you think the sky appears in blue color? The sky appears blue uh, because when the white light of sun uh, in uh, reaches the atmosphere uh, there have dust and gases that scattered the white light into uh, scattered the white light 
as we know that the short wavelengths of light is scattered more as compared to the long wavelength of light that's why sky appears blue and our eyes is more sensible towards the blue light so yeah. in this way sky appears blue to the human okay uh, so mid uh, my next question is uh, can you tell me the classification of pumps pumps are classified into two parts non positive displacement pump and the positive displacement pump non positive displacement pump is a centrifugal pump and positive displacement pump is a rotary pump and reciprocating pump in rotary pump we have gear pump and the rotary vane pump in gear pump we have two internal gear pump and external gear pump and the reciprocating pump we have diaphragm pump and a piston displacement pump So these uh, are the guys. Piston displacement pump uh, again. We are having two guys. That is single acting and double acting, right? Yeah, single acting uh, and double acting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, next question is: uh, Can you uh, classify the parts of centrifugal pump? Classification of uh, centrifugal pump is. Uh, before that, I just wants to uh, to say. Uh, when we start from bottom like strainer sump and the food valve is not considered as a pa uh, part of centrifugal pump uh, the same question i gave to the interviewer he said this is not a part you have to uh, you, you need to only say the parts not this uh, not discharge valve not strainer not sump so the main part is uh, impeller casing uh, impeller uh, backward curve vent and uh, seal stuffing box shaft and uh, discharge valve and motor yeah okay um amir uh, can you explain uh, marine exhaust turbocharger Marine exhaust turbocharger is used to increase the efficiency and the power of engine without increasing the size of engine. So, in uh, there are two uh, two main components in turbocharger. One is turbine and the compressor. So, when the exhaust gas of engine is strike uh, is strikes on the turbine blade, turbine start rotating, and the turbine and the compressor Uh, both are connected with the single shaft when turbine start rotating the shaft which is connected uh, with compressor uh, so compressor is also start rotating when compressor is start rotating it suck the air from the atmosphere and compress it and that compressed air goes to the cooler uh, uh, to uh, and cooler decrease the temperature of compressed Uh, air and sent to the engine so in this way marine exhaust turbocharger works okay. um, so can you explain vcrs cycle and its components components of vcrs system is evaporator condenser expansion valve uh, and compressor these are the four main components and the working is when low pressure low temperature uh vapor represent uh, enter into the compressor compressor compress it uh, isentropically and increase its pressure and temperature when uh, when this superheated refrigerant uh, enter into the condenser uh, where condenser condense uh, is isobarically and uh, release the heat to the atmosphere because of condensation the vapor represent change into the liquid refrigerant and this li uh, li liquid refrigerant enter into the dryer dryer has silica gel that absorb the mu moisture from the refrigerant and sent to the expansion valve expansion valve expands uh, expand uh, the refrigerant isentropically and decrease its pressure and temperature and uh, the uh, liquid plus vapor refrigerant uh, enter into the uh, evaporator and evaporator absorb the heat from the room or the source and convert the liquid uh, refrigerant into the vapor refrigerant 
and uh, there is a sensible bulb that is attached with the discharge side of the evaporator that is used to sense the temperature of the refrigerant that is coming from the evaporator if the uh, if the temp uh, sense if the temperature is low it gives the signal to the expansion valve to decrease the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator if the temperature is high so it gives the signal to the expansion valve to uh, increase the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator so in this way sensible valve works and sensible valve and the expansion valve is connected with the help of capillary tube so these are the function of uh, vcr system okay. so my final question is uh, why did you choose mechanical engineering mechanical engineer because i since childhood i like to work with machines and uh, so that's why i choose mechanical engineering okay yeah okay so these were the questions asked to uh, mir and mir has answered all the questions in a way which I, he had answered in the interview uh, right mir uh, you had answered all yeah. the questions in the uh, same yeah, way in which the you answered same way same way yeah, definitely okay. uh, so mir uh, who took your interview in agno rishi rana sir okay rishi rana sir okay uh, guys uh, so these were the question asked uh, for mir and he has got selected in agno once again i would like to congratulate mir and uh, uh, tell him all the best for your future yeah uh, so mir um, this is my personal question to you how did you prepare for interview for interview i make own notes and uh, i also uh, read all the asis uh, dyanand notes that is mentioned on the description of, of their student group okay. and uh, as you know that uh, this, these are the machines and i you suggest you to not only go with uh, definition uh, try to watch uh, functions on youtube and animation yes. actually you know visualize things uh, stay more time in our mind as compared to we learn yeah. so these all things helps me to clear the uh, interview and uh, one thing i would like to say all the people uh, in the group who is uh, who who has cleared the exam the, uh, like we all learn from this group and now it's our duty and uh, to help others people uh, like uh, i am giving the experience of my inter, uh, of my interview and what the questions and the interviewer has asked so you all have to come and share your experience to all people that the people who are the candidates who are still preparing for it will help them and so yeah Yeah, that's okay. my uh, opinion okay uh so mir uh, i want to ask you that uh, when did you give your return schedule on 26 uh, august okay. and interview uh 27 no no sorry 24 october 24th of october right 24th of october okay. so august september there were uh, two months of uh, gap between your return and uh, interview So, uh, did they uh, tell you for which batch uh, have you been selected? No, I uh, still not get any mail, but uh, I have cleared um, medical and sent to the Rishma man. Yeah, okay, okay, uh, great. Uh, so this is the end of the session, mate. So I would like to thank you for uh, taking your precious time and sharing your interview experience. Thank you. Uh, it would be uh, it will it is more helpful for the uh, upcoming aspirants and the aspirants who are willing to join Anglo Eastern and other colleges. So I hope uh, this session will help them in a greater manner. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank right. you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.